Hello everyone. So a lot of students face problem in solving more simplified questions in gate exam. Yeah. So I have seen that. So what I will do in this video, I will tell you the complete concept of solving the problem. It's not a trick or anything like that. It will be a complete concept how to solve the problem. You will not have to draw any pi model or any RE model. Without drawing any model, you will be solving the problem. Just watch the video till, till the end. You will have a very clear idea how to solve the problem. And especially in EC and instrumentation, most simplified questions are certainly asked in the exam. If you see previous year questions paper, around 4 to 5 marks questions are asked. Okay, around 4 to 5 marks. So this is a very important topic as well. So let's just see the basics first. How do you find a small signal voltage gain? You short circuit or open circuit the DC sources. That means you just nullify the effect of DC sources. If voltage source is there, you will short circuit that. If current source is there, you will open circuit that. And short circuit the coupling capacitor if it is there. In most of the cases, you, you will not find, find any coupling capacitor. What is coupling capacitor? Like I, if I see any MOSFET, sometimes you see these kind of capacitor, right? Between gate and the supply, right? So these kind of capacitors are there. These, these, are, these capacitors are known as coupling capacitors. So you short circuit those. And how do you find the impedance? You do all these things, short circuit or open circuit the DC source. You short circuit the coupling capacitor. Along with that, you short circuit the small signal input voltage as well. Whatever the input is applied, whatever the signal is applied, that you also short circuit. Then you apply a Vx and get Ix out of it. Okay. So this is how you calculate the resistance. You don't need to remember all these things. We will see, see the problems and you will understand everything. Okay. So let's just move to our concept now. How would you solve most ampli and most amplifier problem? So this is our and most amplifier. Okay. Now tell me one thing. What is the current in NMOS amplifier? What is this current? That is GM of this amplifier into gate voltage minus source voltage. So I will write VG minus VS. Right? Why I am why am I writing small VG? Because this denotes the small signal voltage. So basically in MOS, GM VGS current is flowing. In the MOS, GM VGS current is flowing. That's it. And then we have a output resistance as well. Okay. In most of the cases, this output resistance would be infinity, but since we will consider all the possible scenarios, so I will take this as finite output resistance. So basically, this is the small signal model. That's it. You just need to remember two things. Between drain and source, you have a output resistance. That is R0. And from drain to source, there is a current flowing that is Gm Vgs. So Gm into Vg minus Vs. A current is flowing that is Gm Vgs, Gm into Vg minus Vs and there is a R0. That's it. Okay, so basically this is your drain. Okay, and from drain there is a current coming that is GM VGS, right? Then there is this gate and there is this source as well, right? This is your source. Between gate and source, what is the potential? GM VGS. Tell me what is the current here? That is GM VGS only, right? This GM VGS current is completely flowing in the MOS. From up to down, GM VGS current is flowing. Now, there are two points where I am saying that there is this VGS pot potential and I know the current. The current is GM VGS. Tell me what will be the resistance here? 1 by GM, right? Right? Because VGS by 1 by GM, it would be GM VGS. So, I know the potential. I know the current. So, I can write down that resistance that is 1 by gm right so i will not show this thing so i can write 1 by gm and between drain and source we have a r naught right that's it this is the r naught we are having now we will not draw this model in questions but why did i draw this model when i say what is the resistance you see from here what you will say? What do you see from here? What you will say? You will say that I see 1 by Gm to the gate and R0 to the drain. What you will see? From source, you see 1 by Gm to the gate and R0 to the drain. This is what you will say. From source, I see 1 by Gm to the gate and R0 to the drain. That's it. So wherever there is this arrow is there. If this arrow is there, that means this shows 1 by Gm. In case of NMOS, in case of PMOS as well. We will see in case of PMOS. So if this arrow is there, that means it is showing from source to gate there is 1 by gm, from source to drain there is this R0. 
सो दिस थिंग विल बी यूज ओके वॉट वी गोट टू नो जीएम वीजीएस करंट इज फ्लोइंग आर नॉट इज देयर फ्रॉम सोर्स टू गेट वी हैव वन बाई जीएम फॉर सोर्स टू ड्रेन वी हैव आर नोट दैट सेट ओके नाउ इफ योर वीजीएस इज जीरो इन दिस केस इफ योर वीजीएस इज जीरो दैट मीन्स दिस कंप्लीट करंट विल बी जीरो राइट इफ योर वीजीएस जीरो दैट मीन्स बोथ आर शॉर्टेड इफ बोथ आर शॉर्टेड दैट मीन्स दिस कंप्लीट करंट जीएम वीजीएस विल बी जीरो देर विल बी नो करंट इन दिस मोस दैट मीन्स दिस मोस विल बी ओपन सर्क्यूटेड इफ वीजीएस इज जीरो दैट शोज GM VGS is zero. That means no small signal current in MOS. That means MOS open circuited. So your MOS will be open circuited, but this R not will be there. So basically between drain and source, between drain and source, you will see R not. That's it. forget about this gate this gate potential is gone But although this gate and source are shorted so this will be gate only right because your vgs is zero that means source and gate are same right vgs is zero that means both are shorted that means gate and source are same so between so between drain and source what do you see r not resistance between drain and source what i will see r not resistance that's it are you able to take this point okay so only these must things so you need to remember the basic thing is that in most there is always a current that is gm vgs this is the most important point gm vgs current will flow between drain and source we have r not resistance as well you don't forget this okay you can't forget this r not resistance in most of the questions there will be this thing written that clm is zero that means lambda is zero that means your r not is infinity okay in most of the question this is written that channel length modulation is zero that means your r not is infinity okay yeah so gm vgs is current is flowing and from source to gate i see one by gm resistance from source to drain i see r not resistance okay so this is the scenario and if vgs is zero that means mos will be open circuited and between drain and source i see r not resistance now same thing will happen for p mos amplifier tell me what will be the current here that current will be gm into vsg in case of p mos amplifier it is vsg the arrow is there right so from higher potential to lower potential so vsg vs minus vg and there is this r not resistance as well the same thing is there nothing different there is this r not resistance so in most we are having gm vsg current gm vsg current okay so what we are having tell me this arrow is there so this will be replaced with 1 by gm right because we know that the current is here gm vsg this potential is source right now we are having a gate potential here this is gate And this current would be would be gm vsg right and this is our drain between source and drain we are having r not resistance are you getting this point vsg is there one by gm resistance is there that means gm vsg current is flowing although we know that this is gm vsg potential okay and we know one thing gm vsg current is flowing that's why the resistance is one by gm okay and between gate and drain we know that gm vsg current is flowing and between source and drain we have r not resistance that's it okay and one more thing i hope you all all of you already know that this gate current is always zero this gate current is always zero this current this current is always zero so that's why this complete current gm vsg is going into this terminal so this current is zero this current is always zero so gm vsg current is complete gm vgs current in case of pmos sorry in case of nmos nmos gm vgs current and, and in case of pmos gm vsg current okay if your vgs is zero that means not vgs here i should write vsg but both are the same thing only if your vsg is zero that means what your gm vsg would be zero that means your mos will be open circuited right so between source the upper node is source 
between source and drain what we will see this is source this is drain and this will be gate only so between source and drain or gate and drain what we see only r not because mos is open circuited well and good okay now let's see the problem and you will understand more now okay so what did we cover we saw that gm vgs current is there from this potential potential to this potential this is the direction right so G, gm vgs current is there in the complete mos gm vgs current is there and r node resistance is there and if you see from source you see 1 by gm and parallel with r node in this case if you see from source what do you see you can't say 1 by gm parallel with r node you can say from source to gate i see 1 by gm for, 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 from source to drain i see r node from source to gate i see 1 by gm from source to drain i see r not that's it this is what you will say right now let's see the problem you will be able to understand more you have to find small signal voltage gain in this okay now this is the circuit what you will do for finding small signal voltage gain first you will short circuit the dc supply this vdd is the dc supply so you shorted this okay now i have a v in here this is my v in right now tell me from v not if you see from v not what do you see from v not if you see you see 1 by gm to the ground this is 1 by gm right this is 1 by gm you see 1 by gm to the ground in case of pmos you see this is 1 by gm 1 by gm gate is, gate is grounded so from so from source to ground you see 1 by gm right so from source to ground you see 1 by gm And one more resistance you see from source to ground you see r naught as well so from v naught you can see i have 1 by gm parallel with r naught are you getting this point or not from v naught to ground from here to here you see 1 by gm and here you are already having r naught right so from v naught to ground you have r naught from v naught to ground you have 1 by gm so this resistance is 1 by gm parallel with r naught so the lower most is completely replaced with 1 by gm parallel with r naught okay now tell me what is the current flowing in this mos in this direction what is the current gm vsg okay this is m1 so i will write this as m r not 2 this is as r not 1 yeah and one more resistance you will see this is the resistance right r not 1 so from v not to ground you are seeing 1 by gm 1 1 by gm 2 parallel with r not 2 parallel with r not 1 because this is also grounded now so from v not to ground you are seeing r not 1 as well okay so basically this resistance would be from here to here you have r not 1 as well so this resistance would be r not 1 parallel with r not 2 parallel with 1 by gm 2 what will be the current tell me that would be gm1 gm1 because this is m1 right gm1 into vsg what is vsg source is zero what is gate that is v in so the current is flowing downward direction that is minus gm v right in downward direction the current is flowing that is minus gm1 v that means in upward direction we are having plus gm v right so in upward direction we are having plus gm1 v are you getting this point or not this is zero this is v in so in upward direction we are having G, gm v in current the current should flow like this but the current value is gm vsg v source is zero gate is at a v in so the current is minus gm v in in downward direction so in upward direction we are having gm1 v in right now this same current is flowing in this resistance as well gm1 v in now can you write v not yeah i can write v not v not will be current into resistance what is the current my gm1 v in gm1 v in into the resistance that is 1 by gm2 parallel with r02 parallel with r01 but a negative sign will be there because current is flowing in upward direction so the voltage drop will be like this so v0 will be negative so this negative sign will be there so what is my small signal voltage gain now v0 by v in that is minus gm1 into 1 by gm2 parallel with r02 parallel with r01 no small signal model nothing okay nothing you have to draw you just need the concept 
what is the concept you know the current you know the resistance is that's it nothing else you need to draw well and good let's move on to the next problem here we need to find v1 by v2 okay so those who have already solved this problem how they will solve they actually remember the expression from v into v1 what is the expression from v into v2 what is the expression but if you don't know anything if you don't remember anything how you will solve this question in exam okay let's see this what is your first target always the target is to write the current okay so what is the current in this that is gm vgs what is your vgs vgs is v in minus v2 so this is my current gm v in minus v2 okay now i need v1 as well so i need to find the expression of v1 and basically this will be shorted right vdd will be shorted because this is a dc bias so i need to write the expression of v1 what will be the expression of v1 expression of v1 would be the current into the resistance what is the current here the same current is flowing gm v in minus v2 so what will be the v1 value gm v in minus v2 this is the current into the resistance but a negative sign will be there right because the current is flowing from ground to v1 so this will be the voltage drop so a negative sign will be there and vdd will be shorted this will be shorted right i shouldn't remove this i should just say this will be shorted so in rd we are having gm v in minus v2 current because of this and now uh, v1 is minus gm into this current into rd now you need to find the relation between v1 and v2 so the problem is this v, v in you have to remove this v in that's it and lambda is zero so r not i am not considering okay so you have to remove this v in how will you remove this v in that's the target okay what i can see this current is equals to v2 upon rd by 2 as well are you agreeing to this point what is the current in this branch v2 upon rd by 2 voltage upon resistance so this is the current in this branch so this equation this is the first equation the second thing you can see here is that gm v in minus v2 is equals to 2 v2 by rd are you agreeing to this point or not gm v in minus v2 is equals to 2 v2 by rd right so from here i can find the value of v in this is gm v in this will be gm here 2 plus gm rd upon gm rd so v in would be this would be my v in right this is my equation 2 now i can put this v in value in this expression okay so my v1 would be minus gm v in is what is v in 2 plus gm rd by gm rd into v2 minus 1 into v2 into rd is also there how i can write gm rd upon 2 upon gm rd into v2 so your v1 is minus 2 v2 what did i need to find v1 by v2 so your v1 by v2 is minus 2 without remembering any formula by simple mathematics and simple concept i just solved this problem i just equated the current that's it what is the current here gm v in minus v2 what is the current in the upper side you can write minus v in by rd you can write the current here is v v1 by rd or you can simply write the voltage drop will be gm into v1 v in minus v2 into rd and negative sign will be there this is the first equation then this same current is equals to v2 upon rd by 2 so this is the second equation you just from here you find the value of v in okay from v in is this expression and just put the value of v in, in this expression you get the expression between v1 and v2 that's it so always you have to play by currents that's it current and resistance and whatever that i told you to remember here that's the max you can remember you have to remember this you don't need to remember this is a method that's how we solve the small signal 
analysis problem. So only this thing you have to remember. GM VGS current is there, R node is there. That's it. And from source I see 1 by GM and R node. 1 by GM to gate, R node to drain. That's it. And same with the PMOS. GM VSG current is there. This is the direction. So GM, this potential minus this potential. This current is there, R node is there. From source, what do I see? If this arrow is there, that means I see 1 by GM and R node. 1 by GM to gate and R node to drain. That's it. Okay. All set. Now, in this question, you have to find equal and trans conductance. Oh, although this was given in the exam, that what is trans, trans conductance? That is, and let's just call this one as M1, this one as M2. What is trans conductance? That is output current by input voltage. So, this is the input voltage, right? V in. Tell me what is the current here? That is GM1 V in. Now, the same current is I, I out only, right? What I am saying, if this is this is V in and this is ground, what is the current here? GM VGS, GM1 V in and the, in the question, it should be given that lambda is equal to 0. Okay, yeah. So, what is the current here? GM1 V in. Now, this same current is equal to I out only. GM1 V in is equal to I out. So, what will be your delta I out by V in? That means GM is equal to GM1. That's it. Very easy question. Don't know what we do. Pi model, RE model. Don't know what else we do. This is just the method of solving most amplifier problems. If you are well aware with the concept, no matter how much tough question they ask, you will be able to solve. We will deal the tough questions as well. In seconds, you will solve those problems. Okay. Let's see this problem. This is considered as a tough problem in gate. Okay. So, how we will solve? What is the current here? You know one thing. The current is from you need small signal voltage gain. That means you need V naught by V in. This thing you know, you need, right? You need to find V naught by V in. That's it. So from V naught node, I can see here what is the scene? I can see here GM V in current is there. There is this R naught one as well. So from V naught to ground, from V naught to this is our V naught. From V0 to ground, what do you see? From V0 to ground, you see this R01 resistance. If this is M1, do you see R01 resistance? Okay. Now from now come here. This VDD will be shorted, right? This VDD, VDD will be shorted. So this VDD will be shorted. This VG will be shorted, right? This VG will also be shorted because this is also a DC bias. This is also a DC bias. So VDD is gone, VG is gone. Tell me about this. What is happening with, with VSG? VSG. What is VSG here? Zero. Look, source is gone, gate is gone. Gate is also shorted, source is also shorted. So, VSG is zero. That means, here you see VSG is zero, that means there is no current here. VSG is zero, that means there is no current. So, only one resistance you will see. That is R03. Right? And that is connected to ground. So, from V0 to ground, you see R03. Did you get this point or not? VDD is shorted. VG is shorted. So, your VSG is 0. VDD is shorted, VG is shorted. So, VSG is 0. That means there is no current in the MOS. If there is no current in the MOS, that, that means MOS will be open circuited. So only R03 you see. That's it. So, R01 from V0 to ground, here you see, see R01. Here you saw R03. Now, what you will see here? Now, see, tell me what you will see here. From here, you see, what do you see? 1 by GM2. And from here, also, one more thing is there. That is R02. Right? So, from V0 to this, if this, this potential is ground, this potential is also grounded. So, from V0 to ground, I see 1 by GM2. And from V0 to ground, I see R02. Are you getting this point or not? This is my V node. This is grounded. This is grounded. So from V node to ground, I see 1 by GM2. And from V node to ground, I see R02 as well. So how much resistance I am seeing? This was our R03. And from here, what, do you, what did I see? 1 by GM2 parallel with R02. 1 by GM2 parallel with R02. So if they had asked you, what is the output resistance from this side? You would say R01 parallel with R03, parallel with R02, parallel with 1 by GM2. This is the output resistance from this side, looking from this side. 
right? But they are asking the gain, so there is this GMV in current as well. This GMV in current. So at V not end, from V not, what do you see? Here you see one resistance that is R not one to the ground. Here you see VSG is gone, so R not C resistance. Here VSG is not gone. This is your source. This is your gate. So here your VSG is finite. Here your drain and source are sorted. So from here, what do you see? One by GM and one more one R not as well. So from V0 to ground because VDD is grounded. So V0 to ground you see 1 by GM2 parallel with R02. That's it. Okay. So this kind of resistance you see, and there is this current flowing that is GM1 V in. This is GM1 V in. So what will be the gain? This current will be flowing like this. So the gain would be current. What will be your V0? V0 will be current into resistance. What is your current? GM1 V in. What is your resistance? Resistance is this R01 parallel with R02 parallel with R03 parallel with 1 by GM2. So, what will be the gain? And there will be this negative sign. Why so? Because the current is flowing in this direction. So, this will be your V0. Right? So, there is this negative sign. So, your gain would be minus GM1 R01 parallel with R02 parallel with R03, parallel with 1 by GM2. Well and good. That's it. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. This question was asked. Okay, people sold this question with the, some small signal analysis or whatever we see those pi models and all these things. But do you need to draw any pi model? No. Tell me one thing. You don't even need to know draw anything here. This VDD will be shorted, right? This VDD will be shorted. Let's just assume some I current is flowing. In this most, some I current is flowing. The same current will be flowing here. And the same current will be flowing here, right? In the complete most, same current will flow, I current. So what is my VA? That will be minus 4K ohm into I, right? Because this will be the potential. From ground to this will be the potential. So VA will be negative. And what will be my VB? That will be 2K into I, 2 kilo ohm into I. Right? Because this will be the potential. So VB will be positive only. Right? So what will be my VA by VB? VA by VB will be simply minus 2. That's it. VA by VB will be minus 2 only. Right? The current is flowing from up to down like this. So minus 4 kilo ohm into i and vb is 2 kilo ohm into i so va by vb is minus 2 that's it let's solve this problem you have to find small signal voltage gain your lambda is zero here now we need to see from yeah what is this this sign if this sign is given that means this is pmos okay and if this sign is given that means this is nmos okay so we need to find the voltage gain so where is my V in? This is my V in. If this is my V in, what is the current I am having? I am having GM V in current in this direction. Okay. This is the first thing that I can write. This is my V node. Now the same V node is going here. This potential will be V node only. This is VDD. This will be grounded because this is a DC source. So this will be grounded. Right. Now this is grounded. Now tell me what is the current flowing in this MOSFET? Tell me this. This is a PMOS. That means this is the same so gm into vsg what is source that is zero what is gate that is v naught so minus gm v naught current is flowing in the downward direction that means in upward direction you are having gm v current actually this will be gm2 v in and in upward direction we are having gm3 v naught current are you getting this point or not what did i do this will be shorted only because VDD will be gone. So here I am having zero potential. Here I am having V0 potential. So what will be my current? GM VSG. So GM into zero minus V0. That means G minus GM V0 in downward direction. So in upward direction, you will be having GM3 V0. Okay. So from V0 node, I know the current here. I also need to know the current here. Can I say I am having one by GM in downward direction? One by GM4. No, no, no. You can't say. Because this is a 
and most and your one by gm is here not here okay so you can't say like that so in downward direction you don't know the current let's just assume if i know the potential of this point let's just assume this potential is v so what will be the current that would be gm v gm 4v actually so the current would be gm 4v right if i know the potential of this point the current would be gm 4v in upward direction i am having i am having minus gm 3v not current in downward direction i am having gm 4v but i know that these currents will be same right so i can write gm 3v not is equal to minus gm 4v this is the first equation if this potential is v this potential will also be v and this is my nmos now this potential is grounded tell me what is the current i am having this is my nmos okay this potential is grounded this is also grounded and i am having v voltage here tell me what is the current in downward direction that would be gm vgs gate at zero this potential at v so in downward direction i am having gm minus gm v current that means in upward direction i am having gm v current so in upward direction i am having gm v current right but i know one thing these two currents will be same because here there will be zero current why so because this is the gate this is gate terminal so in gate terminal you will always have zero ampere current in gate terminal you will always have zero ampere current so this gm gm1 v gm1 v negative of gm1 v will be equals to gm2 v in are you getting this point or not are you getting this point so from here what do you see what is the value of v v is minus gm2 upon gm1 v in and that i can put in the equation 1 from equation 1 what do i get gm3 v not into gm4 into gm 2 by gm1 into v in so what do you get by as v not by v in so v not by v in would be gm2 gm4 upon gm1 gm3 gm3 that's it okay so in exam they can give some relation between gm2 gm4 gm1 and gm3 and then you can get your answer so what did we do we just write down the equation of current here we saw v not that means the current in upward direction would be gm3 v not and i didn't know the current in this direction i just assume there is this v potential so current in downward direction would be gm4 v so equated both, both of them now this potential is v that means gm1 v current is flowing in upward, upward direction this potential is v in that means gm2 v in current is flowing in, the, in this direction so these two currents will be the same and these two currents will be the same So this is the answer you are getting. So um, in most of the solution books, because this is a gate question, okay. And what was the relation given in gate question? This relation was given that GM one is equal to GM two is equal to GM four is equal to some GM n, and GM three is equal to GM p. So by this, what you would get? Your answer would be GM n by GM. so this would be your answer okay but what i have seen how does most of the educator or student solve this problem because in solution manual i have seen the solution like something like this what do they say that here i am having gm2 v in current now this same current is flowing here okay that is right here i am having gm3 v not current okay now this current that is flowing here would be flowing from this terminal as well from m3 as well gm3 gm2 v in would be flowing from this m3 terminal as well if this is flowing from this m3 terminal that means both will be equal right since gm3 is given as gm3 p and this is given as gm n so your v not by v in is gm n by gm p and luckily this answer was correct luckily what is wrong here what did i say 
that uh, I said that I said that I am having GM two V in current here. That's for sure. That's for sure. I am having GM two V in current here and GM three V not current here. These two are correct thing. But is it necessary that the same current is flowing here as well? That GM three V not the same current would be GM two V. Is it necessary? Let's check. It's not necessary. Let me show you an example. This is our case that uh, here our VDD was there, so VDD was grounded, and here in this direction I am having this current GM to V, GM to V. Right, I should make it like this. This this is our ground ground terminal, and I am having GM to V in current here, and here I am having GM three V node current in upward direction, in upward direction GM three V node current. Now, what do people say that this same current will be flowing in this terminal as well? So, GM three V naught is equals to GM two V, and luckily their answer was correct. But is this method correct? What is wrong here? Are you sure that this current will be flowing? This current and this current will be same? No, we have a ground here. Ground can also take up some current. So, this GM two V in current will be We'll see zero resistance here, so the complete current will be grounded. Okay, and this complete current will also be grounded. Are you getting my point? Luckily, their answer was correct because they told that this GM, this GM, and this GM are same because this is the actual method. These two currents are not equal. These two currents are not equal. This current is equal to GM three V not current is equal to GM four V, and this current is equal to This this current is equal to this current, and by finding the relation, you get this answer. If your GM two, GM four, and GM three were different, sorry, if your GM two, GM four, and G one one, GM one were different, if all three were different, your answer would be incorrect. Okay, luckily your answer was correct. That you said that this this GM two V in current is flowing in M three resistance as well, but this current is not flowing in M three resistance. That's for sure because we are having a ground here. The current can go into the ground as well. Okay, so always remember this concept. So these kind of error you should not do in the exam. Are you getting my point? So you can't say that in M three I am having GM two V in current. No, you are not having GM two V in current. The GM two V in current is going into the ground, and this GM three V not current is also going into the ground. Then there is this ground. Now both of the current are going in this ground and coming into from this ground. What I am saying that GM two V in Okay, I have to redraw. So, in this ground, I was having two currents, GM two V in. GM two V in was in in this direction. No, in downward direction. GM two V in was in this direction, and one more current that was there in upward direction. GM three V not. Okay. Now there is this ground as well. Here, this is also a ground as well. So from this ground, these currents will come up. So GM two V in was having this direction. So from this ground, it will come up like this. That means it will go up with GM two V in. Okay, okay, there is some error. Okay, so basically, what did I wanted to say is that that the current that is going into the ground will come out of this ground. Okay, or you can say the current is going into this ground and will come out of this ground. So there are two grounds, and between two grounds, these This phenomena is there, and yesterday as well we solved one problem. Uh, uh, the title is interesting question on uh, basic like, basic concept of network analysis. The last video, just the last video you can see there I have explained this concept of ground, so where the current goes and from where it goes out. So that concept I have solved in the previous video only. You can see there. So what was the issue there? What what was wrong there that I have explained? Okay. So this is the correct solution that you say that the same current is flowing there. That is wrong. Okay, let's move on to the next problem now. This was the problem. So 
here r naught is infinity you need to find the small signal looking imp small signal impedance looking into the node p okay very straight forward question so from p to ground what do you see rs resistance okay this this is given now what is this this is a new sign this is a new sign so what is this this is this is nmos okay and if the sign was given like this okay and this and this node would be connected and in this case this and this node would be connected if the sign was given like this this would have been pmos how do i remember it in case of nmos this is our arrow right so if the arrow goes like this then the arrow should be inward so if it is inward that means it is nmos this is just a method to remember that's it what did i say in nmos we have arrow like this so if i adjoin these two points then the arrow should have gone into it okay so this is just a method to remember that that's it okay and in this case what was our our arrow our arrow was like this in case of pmos so if we go arrow like this that means our arrow should be like this just a way to remember we remember this diagram so if our arrow goes like this we can make it like this and in case of pmos our arrow goes like this so if we can make it like this okay this is just a way to remember why this sign convention is there what is the meaning of this sign convention that i will tell you when we study the comprehensive course okay in comprehensive course i will tell you in the detail what is the meaning of this sign why there are three different sign why there is this dotted line so everything we will study in the comprehensive course here not here so this is simply an nmos that you need to know okay so this is the condition we are having this is grounded and here we are seeing this rs and this is ground and this is potential p and there is this rl as well and that is grounded okay from here you need to see the impedance so r not is infinity this r not is infinity okay so r not will not be there from here what do you see from p to ground you see 1 by gm and from p to ground you see rs as well do you see any other thing from p you need to find the resistance from p from p to ground i see 1 by gm from p to ground i see rs so 1 by gm parallel with rs that's it do you see anything else from p to ground only two two points are there if r not was there this question would have become interesting if r not was there this question would have become very interesting but r not is not there because if r not was there you would have three nodes from p to ground you see 1 by gm from p to ground you see rs as well but from p to ground you are not seeing r not because rl is also there okay so this question would have become interesting when we study comprehensive course i will tell you how to get the final expression for this the expression would be if anyone wants to calculate i can write the expression that would be rs parallel with r not plus rl upon 1 plus gm r not that would be the final expression if r not is finite okay and since r not is infinity that means from p to ground i see 1 by gm and from p to ground i see rs so this is your answer 1 by gm parallel with rs okay this is the final answer we are having this is our answer but if r not was finite this would have been the answer okay this we will study in comprehensive course this was the question that is asked in the gate so this is your final answer okay let's move on to the next problem so this was also a very good question i guess only two problems are left this one and the final one okay so this was also a very good question that was asked in gate 2022 so i wrote this exam and many of the student were no, were not able to solve this problem okay so let's just draw this diagram okay so from this is your v not this is not dc bias because they are saying that small signal v not by vd so this is a small signal voltage only okay and this is r not this is from v not to this potential we are having a r not and from this potential to ground we are having one more r not 
So you just need to find the relation between V naught and V D. That's it. From the, there you see one current. From V naught you can see one current. That is V naught minus V D by R naught. There is no issue with this current. Is there any issue with this current? I guess I should use different color of pen. This is a small signal voltage that is VD and this is small signal voltage V0. So you are seeing not GM why I am writing GM. Simple V0 minus VD by RD. Okay, well and good. Now tell me there is this zero current, right? This is small R0. Okay. And they have given that uh, are they talking about channel length modulation? Channel length modulation is ignored. That means this R naught is not there. This capital R naught is not there. That is infinity. Now tell me how much current is there in this branch? V naught by 2 R naught. Right? This is our V naught. This is our V naught node. In upward direction, it is having some current that is. V naught minus V D by R D. In this direction, what is the current it is having? V naught by two R naught because this is not this is not driving any current. So R naught and R naught will come in series. So the current is V naught by two R naught. What is the current it is having in this direction? Tell me. Take your time and tell me what is the current it is having in the downward direction. What will be the current? What will be this potential? You tell me. The current will be this potential into G, Gm. The current will be Gmv. Tell me what is V? In terms of V naught. V is V naught by 2. If this potential V, this is R naught, this is R naught. So V naught, this will be V naught by 2 only because this is not driving any current. This is the scene. This is your V naught. This is your R naught. This is your R naught. This is ground. Now, what will be this potential? This potential will be V0 by 2 only. This potential is V0 by 2. That means there is this current that is GMV that is GM V0 by 2. So, here you are having GM V0 by 2 current. So from V0, what do you see? In upward direction, you are having V0 minus VD by RD, RD, not RD. Is it RD? No, it is R0 only. V0 minus VD by R0 current. Here you are seeing V0 by 2 R0 current and here you see GM V0 by 2 current. That's it. You can apply simple KVL, sorry KCL. What is the scene? V naught minus V D by R naught plus V naught by 2 R naught plus GM V naught by 2 equals to 0. That's it. So V naught, it will be 3 by 2 R naught plus gm by 2 is equals to vd by r naught what do you need to find v naught by vd the expression is written in this way you can write it like this so 2 r naught will be there so 3 plus gm r naught by 2 is equals to VD. Okay. Yeah, this is the same. So V naught by VD. V naught by VD you need to find. It would be 1 by 3 by 2 plus GM R naught by your V naught by VD would be how the expression is written GM R naught by 2 plus 3 by 2 inverse that's it this is the final answer how did I solve it just wrote down the current that's it this is your V naught so here you are having V naught by 2 R naught current in upward direction you are having V naught minus VD by R naught current in downward direction you are having GM V naught by 2 current that's it Okay, always your target is to write the current. In most, how will you write the current? In most, you just need to know the potential of this point. If you know the potential of this point, you can write down the current. And in resistance, you know how to write down the current. 
So the main task was to find the current in the MOS and that we found. Let's solve this problem. So in this problem, I will not give you the complete solution. I will just tell you how I would have solved in the exam. Okay. So they are asking the value of GM and R out. GM and R out. So from here, they are asking the GM and R out. Okay. So what is my GM? We have already solved this problem. What is my GM? GM1. So these two options are cut. Only do these two options are there. GM is GM1. We have already solved in the previous problem. Del I, del out, del I out by del. What is GM? This is del ID. This is this they are referring del ID upon del del VGS. That is equals to GM1 only. Okay, so this is my GM. Now what about R0? From here I need to see the R0. From here I need to see the R0. Right? So for R0, this would have been written that at, at VGS you are applying your input. So here you are applying your input. Okay, your small signal input is applied here. So this will be shorted. This will be shorted. So complete VGS is gone. If complete VGS is gone, only here you see R01. Now in this case, this V bias will be shorted. So simply, how will your circuit look like? This is shorted. This one is shorted. And this complete circuit, VGS is gone. So there is zero current. So this is only R01. Okay, and this is your drain and from here you need to see the value of R out. So what you would do, you, you would apply a Vx and get Ix current out of it. Now tell me one thing. Here you need to draw the R out. So tell me one thing, here your, there will be R not 2 as well, right? So when this R not 1 and R not 2 will come in series, at what time? So there are two options this one and this one so can you see this as a possible answer r0 is equal to r02 r0 is equal to small r02 can you see this as a possible answer you know you need to do the mathematical calculation now you will apply a vx here you will apply a get ix out of it and your r out would be vx by ix but tell me is this a possible answer only r02 R0 will certainly come in action. Why? Because this Ix current will, will be divided into two parts in this part and this and this part. Then it will add up and the same current Ix would be flowing here. The current that is flowing here, that Ix current, that would be the same current that is flowing in the since there is no current in the M1, so the same current would be flowing through the R01 as well. Are you getting my point? So this Ix will be divided in two branch, one in the MOS, one in the R02, and then it will add up and will flow from R01. So this Ix current is certainly flowing from R01, that's for sure, right? So you do the calculation and you will get your final answer that is equal to this. So do you want me to do the calculation or you can do it on your own? How will you do the calculation? You will assume a potential here, V. So V is equal to Ix into R01. This is the first equation we are having. Then the second equation, if this potential is V, that means in most upward direction we are having gmv current okay so ix would be equal to the current that is flowing in upward direction that means minus gmv plus vx minus v by r not 2 now from here you can get the final answer or is there any shorter method as well no this is short only this is not a longer method. So you just need to replace the value of V that is Ix into R01. Value of V is Ix into R01. So here you can replace and get the final answer. Okay. Vx by Ix. And this is equation 2. If you solve those, those two equations, your R out would be Vx by Ix. Okay. And the answer that you would get, that will not be this expression. Approximately, it will be like this. Okay. So if I was there in exam, I would know that my R0 is not going to be equal to R02. Certainly it will be something else. So I would tick on this option. Because these two are already cut. Only these two are the possible option. So I know this one is correct. And I know this one is not correct. 
so i would tick on this option so my c answer would be correct okay so that's how i would have sold in the exam that's why i picked this question okay let's just not do anything with this well and good let's move on to the next problem which is considered as the toughest problem that is asked from mosfets so mosfet amplifier so this was asked in gate 2019 ec question paper in one line only you can solve this problem okay so there will be solutions where no i don't know how kind of model they have used but you will be able to solve this in one line so let's see how to solve it let me put the charger on okay so in this problem different parameters are given to you different parameters are given and you need to find the small signal voltage gain forget about these parameters first my target is to find the small signal voltage gain so i will write down the expression in terms of gm and all these things okay yeah so this is the circuit given to me look this is pmos this is pmos this is pmos this is nmos so i replaced it like this the same circuit is there okay and vdd will be grounded because this is a dc bias okay so i am doing my small signal analysis now okay so tell me what is the current here that is gm for this i am calling gm and v so better i should make like this there would be this current that is gm and v in and now from v not to ground you are having r not as well from v not to ground you are having r not from v not to here as well you are having some r not this is also ground you are having some r not then you are having some current here from v not what is the scene let's just check this from v not you are having one r not here one r not here one current upward one current downward what is the current downward that you know gm n v now the only thing is left this current so now tar my target is to find this current if i know this current my whole problem will be solved so what will be the value of this current that will depend on this potential v right since this is grounded this is v that means the current in upward direction is gm pv right gm pv all the pmos are same okay and only nmos is different so in upward direction the current is gm pv i hope you have got this point since you have solved a lot of problem this is grounded this is your v potential so what will be the current in downward direction that would be gm vsg source is zero gate is at minus v so in downward direction you are having minus gmv current that means in upward direction you are having gmv current so that means the current in upward direction is gmpv now from where this v will come let's see the same potential v is going here right i will write down the same potential v is going here now from v our target is to find the v now that's it that's our target from v to ground what do what does it see from v to ground it see this r not here we are having r not right so from v to ground this is seeing one r not from v to ground this is seeing one r not from v to ground you are having r not parallel with r not what i am saying from v to ground you see one r not from v to ground you see one more r not so from v to ground you are having r not parallel with r not that means from v to ground you are having r not by 2 that i can write right r not parallel with r not that means from v to ground you are having r not by 2 now in this direction what is the current gmv gm pv are you sure about that yeah because this potential is v that means the current here would be gm p v well and good okay this current is gmp now you you have wrote the current here you have seen the resistance now what is the current here that would be gmp v gmp v current upward gmp v current downward how how did i write that this is the most i am having this is the most i am having this is grounded this is also grounded because those both are short circuited and this is point v so from v to ground from v to here what is the current gm into vsg what is vs that is v what is gate that is zero so gmv current is downward right 
So upward you are having GMV current, downward you are having GMP current. So from here, how much current is coming? 2 GMP V. Upward you are having GMP V current, downward you are having GMP V current. These two currents are these two currents are clear, right? If this potential is V, that means GMP V current will be upward. Because this is 0, this is V. So GMP V current will be upward. And if this potential is V, this is V, this is 0. So GMP V current will be downward because source is at this potential and gate is at 0. Here, source is at 0 and gate is at this potential. So current will be upward. So GMP V current going this way, GMP V current going this way. That means two GMP V current would be coming this side. That means what I can write, my V is equal to 2 GMP V into R0 by 2 minus sign. 2 GMPV. What did I say? What is the current in this resistance R0 by 2? That is 2 GMPV. So what will be the potential? 2 GMPV into R0 by 2. This is the potential. So what will be the direction? This minus plus. And this potential will be equal to V only. Are you getting my point? So V is equal to minus GMP R0 into V. So when this is possible, your V would be equal to 1 plus GMP R0 is equal to 0. Can this value go to 0? No, this will be a finite value. So V has to go to 0. So your V potential is 0. That means this potential is 0 volt. That means this current that is I am aiming to be upward that is 0. The current that is I am aiming upward that is 0. So from V0, what do you see? From V0, you see one resistance from V0 to ground R0, from V0 to ground you see R0. So basically from V0 to ground you see R0 by 2 resistance. What else you see? From V0 to ground you will see Gm and V in. So what will be your V0? And V0 will be minus Gm n into R0 by 2 into V in. So what is your gain? The gain is simply Gm n R0 by 2. That's it. This is your gain. Now you just need to find the value of Gm n because R0 value is given. Why did I take R0 equal? Because this is given. All the transistors have the same output resistance. That is 6 mega ohm. What did I do? I need to find the relation between V0 and V. So what did I do? First I wrote down the current Gm n V in. From V0 to ground I see R0, from V0 to ground I see R0. Now there is one more branch that is of MOS. So in MOS I need current. In MOS I need current. How will I find the current? I will assume the potential V there. Okay. I shouldn't write directly here 0 volt. Okay. I am assuming the potential V there. So that means that in upward direction, forget about this branch, come here. So this V is there, this V is there. So from V to ground you see R0 here and R0 here. So R0 by 2. Okay, R0 parallel R0, that means R0 by 2 resistance. In this branch, you are having GMPV current. In upward direction, you are having GMPV current. So, in this branch, you are having 2 GMPV current. Now, the drop across this resistance, that would be equal to this voltage. And negative sign will also be there because the current is flowing from ground to upward direction. So, the current is 2 GMPV, 2 GMPV into R0 by 2 and a negative sign. Why negative sign? I hope you know. Because the current is flowing from up to down. Sorry, from down to up. So this will be the drop. So if this is 0, this will be a negative drop. V is equal to this value. So V value we are getting that is 0 volt. Now you got to know that this potential is 0 volt. If this potential is 0 volt, that means there is no current in this MOS. So from V0 to ground, you are seeing R0 by 2, and from V0 to ground, you are seeing GM1, GM and V in. So your V0 would be your gain would be GM N into R0 by 2. This is the method one of finding finding gain. Okay. This is the first method of finding gain. Let me tell you the second method that is very intuitive. In one line only you can find the gain, but you need to have a very good base. So how will I find that gain? I need to copy the circuit. Okay, I will copy this circuit. So if you guys know, tell me what is this? Isn't it an ideal current source? How do you make an ideal current source from MOS? How do you make a current source? If you already know, then only 
you should watch this method okay this this mos is in saturation region if the mos is in saturation region that means it will act as a ideal current source so this is a ideal current source right this is a ideal current source okay now this is an ideal current source now this mos is also in saturation region so isn't it the condition like this this is a mos which is having an ideal current source here although this is not ideal because this is having a r not resistance as well because channel length modulation is there okay and then this node is grounded whatever although we will not take it grounded because we are doing that we are seeing the dc current now so we will take this as 4 volt forget about this r not for once what do you think what the circuit is isn't it a current mirror isn't it a current mirror this i not current is flowing this is saturation region since this is acting as an amplifier this has to be also in saturation region in amplifier mosfet is in saturation region when it is working as an amplifier so this also has to be in saturation region this is this was a current source this was in saturation region this is also in saturation region and for this transistor this gate and drain are shorted gate and drain are shorted this is the current isn't it acting as a current current mirror so this same current will be copied here right but the, this will have a output resistance of r not so your complete circuit can be replaced something like this so what is the current you are getting from here the same current you will be getting here this is a dc current okay here you are having vdd that is 4 volt and here you are having r not as well because lambda is there okay and this is the scene where you are applying your v in and where you are applying this is where you are getting your output when you do the small signal analysis what you will do this is a dc current source so this will be open circuited right and this 4 volt will be grounded this was there already now this dc current will be open circuited and this 4 volt will be grounded simply you can see here also you are having some r node as well this r node r node will come in parallel so your gain would simply be minus gm n r node by 2 what did i do here i just got to know that this is acting as a current mirror this is a current source the same current is copied here if the same current is copied here that means it is simply a dc current source if i am doing the small signal analysis that means i can open circuit this dc current source if i can open circuit this dc current source that means i will i can simply connect an r node here if i can simply connect an r node here my gain would be minus gm and r node by 2 that's it okay no pi model nothing else if you are very well aware of the concepts then you can solve the problem within a minute okay now my target is to find the value of gm that's it this is my target I need to find the value of gm n okay so i will find the value of gm n now okay so how will i find the value of gm n so r naught i know that is 6 mega ohm and gm n i need to find what is gm gm is a ac parameter or dc parameter if you have done the comprehensive course you should know if this is a dc parameter or ac parameter this is a dc parameter okay how to find gm let me tell you so what is the equation of id that is mu n cux w by l w by 2l vgs minus vt whole square into 1 plus lambda vds now i will specify one more mistake that is done by most of the student and the educators while solving this problem okay now let's see what is my gm that is del id upon del vgs so it would be although this should be written as small signal voltage okay but i am not writing no this should not be written as small signal voltage these are large parameters only sorry 
forget the last statement this is not the small signal current this is the large signal current only and this is gm that is del id upon del vgs so mu n u x w by l vgs minus vt into 1 plus lambda vds okay what is your 1 by r naught if you remember that is lambda id upon lambda vds right so from there what you would get mu n u x w by 2l vgs minus vt whole square into lambda this was the expression for id this was the expression for gm this is the expression of 1 by r naught okay so you need vgs value vt value is given in the question vt value is given that is 1 volt and r naught is also given vt value is given that is 1 volt right now i know one thing what is that i know one thing that in these two MOS, the dc current would be same let's draw the circuit once again let's draw the complete circuit once again here and then we will do the dc analysis now okay so this was my dc circuit okay so what do i need to do i know that this current and this current would be same so all this gm and all these things these are this gm this is a dc parameter okay so you will find it doing the dc analysis so now we are doing the dc analysis i know one thing that these two current will be the same so what will be the current in this pmos that would be mu p cux w by l vsg minus vt let's just assume this potential is v okay this potential is v so vsg what is vsg 4 minus v minus vt whole square never forget this point 1 plus lambda vsd what is vsd this is source this is drain so what is your vsd that is 4 minus v okay what will be the current in this point in this branch that would be mu p cux w by 2l actually w by 2l vsg vsg v minus vsg minus vt what is vsg v minus 0 minus vt what is vt 1 also this one will also be there lambda plus vsd so what will be vsd vsd that would be v only okay now we have to assume we have to assume lambda is very low okay since r naught is 6 mega ohm r naught is 6 mega ohm that is very high value near to infinity so i have to assume that lambda is very low okay if R0 was some 100 ohm, okay, then I wouldn't consider lambda to be very low. So, here I can assume that lambda is very low. Assuming lambda to be very low. Okay, if lambda is very low, that means this factor will be 0, this factor will get cancelled, this and this will get cancelled, this also will get cancelled because lambda is equal to 0. Okay, this also will get cancelled. So, from here, what do you see? 3 minus v is equal to v minus 1. 3 minus v is equal to v minus 1. So, from here, what do I get? v is equal to 2 volt. Right? This potential is coming out to be 2 volt. this potential is coming out to be 2 volt now okay now i don't know the dc current in my nmos but i can find the dc current in my pmos right i can find the dc current in my pmos so id in my pmos that would be and that same current would be in id in my nmos right so i will write it later on that current would be mu p cox w by 2l vsg minus vt whatever that is so i will just write down the value now what is mu p cox in the given question i can see what is mu p cox that is 30 micro uh, why i am interesting in finding the current if i know the current 
then I can find the value of GM. I need to find GM n. That's it. Okay. So I need to find GM n. So if I if I know the current, then I can find the value of GM n. So if you guys know from this expression, what do you see? What is GM n? That would be 2 ID upon VGS minus VT. Right? 2 ID upon VGS minus VT. Yeah, so my target is to find GM n. So So I can do I can use a better method. I know the current in these two brands will these two brands will also be same. Right? So I can write mu p c o x w by 2l is equals to v s g n. What is v s g n? That is 2 minus v s g 4 minus 2, 2. v s g n minus v t whole square is equals to mu n c o x w by 2l. I am ignoring lambda, okay? Into VSG. I don't know what is the value of VSG. Here, this VN is small signal voltage. Okay, you won't consider this. You will consider this as VS. In the given question, this is the small signal voltage. This VN is the small signal voltage. Here, some DC bias will certainly be there. Here, some DC bias will certainly be there. So, that is VS. That DC bias is VS. You don't know the value of that DC bias. So that DC bias is some VG. Sorry. That DC bias some, will be some VG. Capital VG, I should write. Capital VG. Okay, so that DC bias you don't know. So I, I need to find that DC bias only. So that DC bias I don't know. So I will just write the value as VG only. What is VS? And this I should write VG. Okay. And what is VS? VS is 0. Minus VT. VT also I don't know. For this transistor, or VT I know. For all the transistors, VT is 1 only. This is the scene. Mu P C X W by 2L. VGS. What is VGS? 2. Here VSG minus VT whole square. And here this thing. Okay. So what is mu P C X into W by L by 2? Mu P C X W by L. 300 by 2. Actually, this, this value and this value. Mu P C X W by L and mu N C X W by L are the same. Because mu p c x is given as 60 micro, I guess. 60 micro, 30 micro. 30 micro. And w by l for p is given as n. And mu n c o x is given as 60 micro. And w by l for n is given as 5. So multiplication will be the same only. So from here I get the value of Vg that is equals to 2. So from here I get the value of Vg that is equals to 2 volt. So now for this transistor I need to write Gm. So what will be my Gmn? My Gmn would be mu n cox w by l vgs minus vt. Mu and CX I know. Mu and CX I know. 60 micro into 5. Into what is my VGS? That is 2 minus 1. So GM I am getting is 30 micro maho. This is my GM N. And R naught was given. That was 6 mega ohm. So what was my gain? Gain was minus GM N R naught by 2 minus 30 micro into 60 by 2. So, gain would be minus 900. This is my final answer. Okay, finding the DC parameter was a good task here. And one more thing like people would think that if there is only V in, so this should be shorted. No, this will not be shorted. Why? Because this is the small signal parameter. The DC parameter you don't even know. So, I need to find the DC parameter. So, my task was to find this value. Lambda I am ignoring. Okay. Lambda is very low. So, lambda, lambda I am ignoring. So, my task was to find this value. For this, I need the value of VGS. So, for finding the value of VGS, first I did that. The current is same here. So, I got the value of this V. 
So if I go to the value of this V, I know the current is also same here as well. So if the current is same here as well, then I can get the value of this VG. So from there, I go to the value of this VG that is 2 volt. So if this is 2 volt, then I could simply put the value in this expression. From here, I go to the value of GMN. So in explanation, I did, did something wrong. What did I do wrong? In explanation, I should have written this first. I should have written the expression first and then I needed to tell you what do I need to find. I need to find the value of VG. So for finding the value of VG, all those tasks we did previously that we should have done. Are you getting my point? First, whatever you need to find, write the expression of that thing. Now, what you don't know? In that expression, you don't know the value of VG. So VG you need to find. So for that VG, first you find the value of V that you get 2 volt and then you find the value of VG that also you get 2 volt. From there, you get the value of GM that you get 30 micro. 30 micro maho and from there you find the gain so this is the simplest method to find the gain so these are the questions that are asked in the previous year paper of gate examination for most amplifiers so we have solved the problems i hope you must have studied something new today okay i am pretty sure you must have studied something new and this is the method that i personally use for finding the gain and this is the this is the way that you can find the gain very quickly this is not the comprehensive method surely comprehensive method will be studied in the comprehensive course only but since you have a little bit idea of the most amplifier then you can solve the problem like this simply by current and resistances that's it current resistances and voltage that's it that's how you will solve so i will share the pdf in the telegram group and i will put the link in the description and the comment box you can join the telegram group from there and there i will share this pdf so you can revise this video and your most amplifier problem will never be wrong I can guarantee you these four marks will never go okay and this is considered as the as one of the toughest topic of gate examination and student often fail to solve this problem okay so if you like the video please do share it with your friends uh, because i would want uh, to reach to the maximum people so please do share it with your friends and whatever the topic you find tough write down in the comment section okay let's just assume you find the problem of counter stuff in digital electronics you don't you can't solve the problems of counter so i will tell you the method to solve the problems of counter as well so whatever the topic that you find tough i will try to make a video on that so how to solve the problems more quickly and with the better concept so that i will tell you in in further videos so just you can put your problem in the comment section okay so i will certainly try to bring a video so i will share the pdf and please do try to like this video and share it with, share it with your friends okay thank you